was always the priority. Accordingly, some of the private sector banks had invested in uh, technology. But when certain mandates started coming from the regulator with regards to financial inclusion or small ticket size transactions, they found that they were not geared up to handle that. I mean, imagine I putting uh, a core banking solution which is worth crores of rupees and if I were to support such small ticket size transactions on it, it will be an overkill for the bank. Definitely not a profitable customer. But now with this much needed impetus with regards to Aadhaar and uh, Jandan Yojana and even the regulator relaxing some of the KYC norm, banks are now seeing value in it. People have now remodeled their strategies. They are now going in for low cost or you know, what you say, the lighter versions of core banking, which may not require all the frills that are you know, attached to a normal conventional core banking, but a limited set of transactions, which will be very cost effective. Or maybe you know, some of the banks have also gone on a paper uh, use kind of a model rather than owning uh, all of the assets. Getting all of them into the mainstream is and will be the biggest challenge for uh, India as a whole. And the day we achieve it, I guess, you know, a whole lot of problems which uh, Ravi put up on his, uh, you know, one of the slides, the mind-boggling numbers which were there. I mean, I think a lot of that will get addressed. And it's a, it's, it's a, it's a shame somewhere that, you know, in spite of having 65 years of independence completed, to have a larger segment of your population still being considered as below poverty line or underbanked or uh, you know unbanked uh, you know this this point needs to get changed very soon so getting financial inclusion people into the mainstream is the need of the hour i like to add one more point here see there is always a need f to save and borrow so if you are not giving them an authentic product and you give a rise to a parallel economy so then you have people like Saukas and all, you know, you take advantage of such people. So it's always better that, you know, you have a financial inclusion in place. Uh, we will take all your balanced queries and uh, questions maybe uh, after the second session. Uh, thank you, sirs, for your insightful session. Your presence has made this event commendable. And <laughs> yeah, I request... Uh, Dr. Milin Pandya, project director, to felicitate the panel members and the moderator, Mr. Ravindra Deshmukh. Mr. Ritesh Pai. He's a vice president and head Ratnagar Bank Limited, Mumbai. Mr. Kanchan Kulkarni, regional head, ICICI Bank, Pune. And Mr. Santi Pimple, This brings us to the end of first panel discussion. I take this opportunity to thank all our speakers on the dais for uh, such a session, which was interactive and knowledge filled. May I now invite all the dignitaries and the audience to the second panel discussion on from branches to handset, unleashing the mobile potential. I invite Mr. Heman Joshi from Delight, telecom leader. He's a panel moderator for the session to the dais. Mr. Indranil Chattopathyay, Sales and Marketing Hurt, ATL Money, Maharashtra and Goa. <laughs> Mr. Sumit Deshpande, VP Network and Services, Idea Cellular, Pune. <laughs> and Mr. Sandesh Nangre, Manager IT, Bank of India. <laughs> Mr. Rishi Kapal, ex Sony Country Head. He's our mentor too. <laughs> yes, sir. Our students of Midsort have prepared a small clipping on this topic, that is branches to handset, unleashing the mobile potential. I request the IT department to play the clipping. 
I will take this opportunity to introduce panel. Let me introduce the panel moderator first. Moderator for the second panel discussion is Mr. Heman Joshi. Mr. Heman Joshi is the telecom leader India for Deloitte. He is also a partner at Deloitte with over 27 years of experience, mainly in the technology, media and telecom called TMT. He is also vice president of the Isaka Pune chapter. So, sir, I welcome you for this panel discussion too. Then we have Mr. Indranil Chattopadhyay. Mr. Indranil is currently working as a sales and marketing head for Airtel Money. Airtel Money, Maharashtra and Goa. He has also worked with some of the leading service providers like Tata Teleservices and Reliance Communication. So welcome you, Indranil. <laughs> then we have Mr. Sunil Deshpande. He is the Vice President, Network and Services, Idea Cellular Pune, having wide exposure in telecommunication and services industry. Welcome you, sir. <laughs> we have Mr. Sandesh 